Good morning. Welcome back to my kitchen. I'm um, trying so hard <laughs> to get my ass into shape. I can't do all this traveling. I mean, I can. Feeling just miserable all the time. Not to mention if I lost 40 pounds, I'd fit in the van a lot better, wouldn't I? Yeah. Hmm, I'm getting ready to leave here. Actually, my daughter's gonna be here uh, in a couple days. I'm leaving on uh, Christmas Day. And I'm gonna be gone a lot in January and February. I'm, I'm, I'm gone basically half of my life. I'm, I'm, when I say that van is my home away from home, it's really my other home. So one of the ways I'm trying to uh, get rid of this bullshit here is I showed you my uh, my spicy drink, it's supposed to clear out the arteries and all that stuff. I showed you that a few episodes ago. This is the shake. This is what I just call the shake. What's in the shake? Let me tell you. And I usually don't drink this and. I need to get my shit straight and get onto a, some kind of a routine. Uh, I wanted to do the spicy drink in the morning. It kind of wakes me up a little bit. And then do this one in the evening. But I'm going to do it backwards and see how that helps. And off in the distance, you can hear the cat meowing because I'm not paying attention to her. Instead, I'm talking to you. Sorry, kitty. You're going to be all right. I promise. Anyway, so this starts off with unsweetened vanilla almond milk got a little bit in there now but can't put too much maybe a cup no, that looks like about a cup uh, whole banana if you're watching your sugar you still need sugar trust me I'm not trying to eat a lot of sugar either oh my gosh she's just insane today And she's losing her shit. Are you gonna are you dying? Like she's been hiding for like the last two days and now she's like she's back in all her glory. Anyways, blueberries. Not too many, like half a cup. Ooh, you good blueberry. I almost hate to blend them all up. Very good blueberries. Alright. That's where it starts getting weird. Spinach. Oh, yes, but you know, two cups of spinach. I know what you're thinking. Spinach and blueberries are the same thing. Yeah, spinach and blueberries are the same thing. It's actually pretty good. Next, pecans. You can use uh, walnuts. You can use uh, almonds. Anything you really want to use. I like pecans because. I like pecans. Maybe a half cup. Not too many. Oh, I feel like I'm forgetting something. I'm really tired right now. I'm tired of being tired, I'll tell you that. I let the cat sleep with me last night. I've been kicking her out a lot lately. But I let her sleep in the room last night because I felt bad. And she woke me up at 2.30, 4.30, and then again at like 6.30 when I just woke up. Uh, I don't know what to do about that because I feel so bad for kicking her out. Anyways, I found this stuff at Safeway. I'm sorry, I found this at uh, Sprouts. It's collagen fuel. This is the uh, vanilla coconut flavor. One big heaping teaspoon or whatever spoon this is of that. And then I have... Just a little organic protein. You can get this at Sprouts. You can get this uh, anywhere. Whole Foods. I think I got this one at Whole Foods. Big old scoop in here. Nice big heaping scoop of that. This is the French vanilla as well. Boom. And then I have uh, this stuff. It's supposed to help with fiber and digestion and everything and stomach health. This is the unsweetened, this is the protein plus fiber one. The reason I hesitate on this is because it doesn't taste very good at all. 
and they don't even give you a spoon. Seriously, no spoon. Yeah, it just, it kind of adds a little cardboardish flavor. Not a big fan. I'll give it a scoop. Give it a scoop and it'll make it poop. And then, ice. Usually put about a lot of ice. Usually about half a tray, which is uh, eight ice cubes for you people that can push a button that comes straight out of your fridge. Congratulations on your life. Then what I do, take a little more almond milk, just kind of drizzle it over the top to bind everything together. Now you want a smoothie. You don't want like juice, obviously. You don't want to be too thick. This is probably gonna be really thin because there's a lot of almond milk in there, but. Also make sure you have a big ass blender. of spinach didn't blend because it was stuck in the lid yeah it's a little little uh, thin for me oh but still really good yeah I think I'm gonna stop using the hemp because I can taste that right away and uh, but other than that it's really good now what does this drink do for you helps you poop Plus it gives you all the protein, a lot of protein, um, a lot of different vitamins and stuff. I mean, it's banana, blueberry, spinach. It's very raw, pecans. Look up the health benefits for all of that stuff. If you want to look up the health benefits, you can look up these as well. And um, I did a lot of research and these are kind of the, uh, without breaking the bank, the best ones I could find. And I, uh, yeah. All sugar free, keto, paleo, no dairy, whey, soy, uh, vegan, blah, blah, blah. it's got all that stuff. But this alone has 22 grams of protein. I think this whole thing will have about 35 grams of protein. Very low sugar. None of this has any kind of uh, very low carbs as well. So um, you're going to get sugar out of the blueberries, you're going to get sugar out of your bananas, of course. But not much. It's also natural sugars, which it's still sugar. And it still goes through your body the same way. But I'm not a nutritionist. I'm not a doctor. So don't, like, this is the stuff that I've heard from others who are nutritionists and doctors and stuff. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and drink this shake. i got to go pick up the kid here pretty soon. And uh, as far as the side TV today, man, I got a lot of phone calls to make. I got a lot of... Uh, I got New York City to book. I've got, oh man, <laughs> I think I have Phoenix to book. I have a lot of stuff to book for January. And uh, when I get back from New York City, I, I don't want to just come straight home. I would like to adventure down the East Coast and then travel through the South, um, mainly because the weather will be better. I'm really nervous about weather for these next two trips. I mean, I don't normally travel. I usually hibernate in the winter, but I, I don't want to. I want to get out. I want to do stuff, and I'm hoping Van Helsing uh, can handle some good snowy, icy weather. Um, all of this can change with one big storm. You know, <laughs> last year, uh, Mike Bennett and I were out in the middle of that whole Texas, Oklahoma nightmare uh, that big ice storm where all the power was going out and all that. We were right in the middle of it, and I think we missed the worst of it by like a day. I don't want to be dealing with that stuff. I would rather wait till springtime and get all this stuff knocked out if it meant losing my life or my safety or my van or you know, any of that stuff. My cat and my kid deserve, you know, to have, have me around, I think. Um, so I'm a little nervous about weather driving all through January and February especially all these northern states but my next trip I'm going down to Vegas and San Diego so I'm not extremely worried about that uh, even though I have to go through the western slopes of Colorado which is known for being a, a treacherous drive 
but we'll get there. And if we don't get there, we'll get there later. Simple as that. Spinach box just made noises. All right, I'm gonna drink my shake and get going. Miss my boy, so that's step one. Debating whether to have a coffee with this. If I have a coffee with this drink, I'll explode, which is a good thing if you're trying to lose weight. It's a bad thing if you're stuck in traffic. Maybe I should bring my portable toilet with me.